Hello and welcome to a new review of the new Game of Thrones episode, Second Sons. Alright, Game of Thrones, episode 8, season 3. Only two episodes left, and this is just fantastic. This is probably my favorite episode so far. It had so many great moments, things that wasn't in the book that's in this episode, and it just starts to heat up, really, it's awesome. Alright, so the first thing I want to say is the wedding scenes with Tyrion and Sansa. Tyrion is wedding Sansa, something that they're both not very fond of, and I remember it so well in books because it was really shocking because in the book Sansa is even younger, she's like only 13 or something, and I thought that was really terrifying that even though Tyrion is a small man, he is still much older than Sansa, and she's just this little child that have to marry him, and when I read the book, I was just blown away, because I thought it was, you know, it was terrible. Um, and still, in the show, it's really horrifying to look at, and it's really sad to see Sansa, um, you know, unhappy again, because... In the beginning of season 3, she looked really happy and, you know, she planned with Marjorie that she would, you know, wed Loras and all that. And I just thought, alright, th this looks good for Sansa. But of course I read the book and I knew that it would go bad for her. But I didn't really think it would, you know, I didn't really think I would care that much. But I did and it proves that, you know, the girl who plays Sansa is a great actress and the writing is great. So, great scenes, and I loved how Joffrey is such an asshole, and how Tyrion just, you know, you see him get so, you know, he gets drunk. And I have to say, Peter Dinklage is such a fantastic actor. But anyways, Tyrion gets drunk at a wedding, and he gets so pissed off at Joffrey. Uh, oh man, it was so cool, and you just see Joffrey... He, he too gets like really, uh, he, he gets so angry and you know, oh, uh, and I guess in season four, around Joffrey's wedding with Marjorie, we're gonna see more of you know Tyrion confronting Joffrey, which is just awesome. But we won't get that you know slapping that we got in you know where Tyrion slaps Joffrey in season one and two. We won't get that. It's more like Joffrey confronting Tyrion and, you know, making him pissed off. But still, pretty awesome. Uh, the first scene uh, of this episode, we saw Arya and the Hound, and uh, I really hope we got more of that, but it would, what we didn't, it was just only that first episode. But in the books, it was one of my favorite parts, because their relationship is just, it's, at both, at, you know, at the same time, it's really bizarre, but you actually kind of find it funny. It's actually really funny the conversation Arya and Hound has. Um, so we hope we can get more of that. Probably not because uh, next episode, uh, I believe, is the Red Wedding. Well, I don't want to spoil anything. But anyways, in the books, it was like a long like road trip. Just like Jamie and Brian. I, I wish we could see more of Arya and Hound together because it's really... Really good writing in the book, so I, I, I wish we saw more of that, but we didn't. And Daenerys is still in Yunkai, and this time she meets uh, the second sons. And she meets Dario for the first time, and Dario is a really important character for Daenerys. Uh, in the books, uh, I don't think it will really be a spoiler or anything, but, well, she falls in love with him. Uh, yeah, and... Well, Dario, he, he's he's a really different kind of person. He's not like Khal Drogo, but he's still like really fucked up and, you know, brutal in kind of way, but not like Khal Drogo. And, but Dario's, you know, he's an inter interesting character, and in the books it was really interesting to see how Daenerys reacted to Dario. 
So I hope we get some of that uh, in you know season the rest of season three and season four. And yeah, so that was Daenerys, and then we have Stannis and Melisandre, and this is the part that was not in the books at all. But it's just so awesome to see. So Stannis and Melisandre have, well, Melisandre have captured Gendry, which you probably remember from the past episodes. And now he's, you know, taken to Dragonstone, and Stannis meets him, and Melisandre is making this sacrifices ritual. Uh, where she sacrifices, not really sacrifices, she doesn't kill Genre, but she she takes his blood uh, on these you know, little insects creature. I'm, I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, not that I, you know, I, I don't get the name in my head right now, but, you know, it's uh, really dis disgusting creatures that, you know, you get on their body and they suck your blood. So she takes three of those on his body and they suck his blood. And then Stannis takes them off. Well, Mel Melisandre took them off and then gave it to Stannis. And then he put the first one in the fire and he said, Rob Stark. And then the next one he said, Balin Greyjoy. And the next one after that he said, The Usurper, uh, Joffrey Baratheon or Joffrey Lannister. And this is... Since it's King's blood, I guess he does this so this will kill these characters. And I I, I know I mention a lot of times that, that I've read the books, but it's kind of hard to, you know, talk about Game of Thrones without, you know, mentioning the books. But this wasn't in, uh, the, in the books at all. But I think it's just really clever writing. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's really cl it's really clever. All right, so the last scene was awesome, and that was Sam the Slayer. Yeah, um, I think people in the Night's Watch after the events at the F Fist of the First Men, I think Sam did kill uh, a White or um, a White Walker, and. I remember that the people in a nice watch started calling Sam Sam the Slayer, uh, but of course we didn't get anything from the first man. Only like the first scene in the first episode of Game of Thrones season three, uh, but we get this famous scene from the books where Sam and Jilly has arrived to this like abandoned uh, ha house, and then suddenly this tree. It gets like it's like a hundred of crows on this tree and then a white walker you know suddenly appears like long beyond in the woods and then he starts walking towards Sam and he's like Sam takes up his uh, sword and like stay back and then a white walker just still you know walks towards him lift him uh, lift Sam up and throw him away and then he's you know he's after the baby I think it was the white walker that uh Craster or Craster uh f f fed children so he wants Jillis child and then Sam he and he takes the dragon glass and stabs the white walker in the back and then he turns into ice and explodes so that was the last scene of the second sons and i have to say the episode was so great i loved it probably my favorite episode so far but i think the next episode is probably going to be the best the next episode isn't coming before two weeks which is kind of disappointing and long to wait but you know i can take a break from making these reviews because you know i make these right after i come from school and i'm and i'm really tired but i just you know, I want to entertain you and show you, tell you my thoughts about each episode of Game of Thrones. But yeah, um, it's kind of worth it, I think. I don't know. But yeah, Second Sons, great episode. Really loved it. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you really liked it, uh, press like. And if you've seen my other videos and you like them too, please subscribe and you'll get more. Alright, so, thanks for watching, and have a good day.